Hello, my name is Clara Volumey and I am an author and an illustrator of children's books. And today I would like to say a huge congratulations to everybody who took part in the Polka Theatre's Right Here, Right Now Creative Writing Project. You have all written the most wonderful stories. And I am going to read for you a story called Noodles and Swift, written by Madiha and Fahanda from Malmesbury Primary School. Under the enchanted forest trees were areas of golden flowers that smelled like chocolate and areas of flowers that smelled like perfume. There was a rainbow that came every day and it was tall and twinkling. And it did not matter about the weather as it was fine every day. In the enchanted forest there lived beautiful fairies that danced around. And there was also two unicorns that had pure golden stirrups. And there was also a black shining gate at the entrance of the forest that had a handle on with a heart shaped key. The fairies flew every day over the glimmering trees. One fairy was called Swift and the other Noodles. Noodles is called that because she loves eating lots of noodles and Swift, she loves flying about a lot. Swift had shiny wings that were pink, yellow, peach, green and girly gold. One day, a mysterious person arrived in the forest. He had knobbly knees, a black nose, poisonous teeth and a long beard. He had come to steal their gem. The fairies tried to use their magic powers to stop him, but it did not work. They tried a second time, but still it did not work. They began to panic and shake. Finally, they used their magic powers for a third time, and this time it worked. And the mysterious man turned into a cat. But he had hidden their gem in a box that was locked with a code. They had to find a way to unlock the code to get their gem back. Then they remembered the magic words, smelly cookie, pink diamonds saves the day. And the box opened. Hooray! The fairies managed to get their gem back. And the magic words made the man vanish too. To celebrate, they ate lots of noodles, drank gallons of Fanta orange, and they lived happily ever after. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful story. Well done, Matiha and Fahanda, and well done to everyone who took part in the Right Here, Right Now project. Keep creating, keep writing, keep sharing your stories with everyone. Goodbye.